Um, speaking of which. How do you find the right people? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> the best way to find people is not necessarily their social media presence, although we appreciate social media presence. Um, it's also not exactly uh, a science. You need to find people that you're comfortable with. So I'm going to start off with um, the difference between an agent and a broker in our state. Do you mm. know the difference? Agent starts with an A and broker starts with a B? He is very right. Those yes. are two differences. However, <laughs> we in the state of Washington, we actually don't even have a legal term for an agent. Wow. We are all brokers. All real estate people in Washington state are brokers. So agent is just a make believe like it's it's, it's what they believe. It's like what they unicorns. Use to, <laughs> they use it in the rest of the country a lot. And in the rest of the country, they use the term broker for like the person that heads up the brokerage, the whole company. For some reason in Washington state, when you get your license to sell real estate, you are a broker. And then if you're going to manage a whole brokerage, you're considered, uh, you have to get a managing broker's license. So it's an additional license. And then you're considered the designated broker. Now that might seem like small stuff, but it's those little details that can make a difference when working with people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's also a rumor that you have to have a commercial license versus a, real, a, a residential license. And not in this state, no. In this state, it's one real estate license. In other states, yes. Uh, but there's that many differences between the states that you need to understand what's right for here. Okay, so things that I want you to do when you're considering hiring a realtor is ask them about their experience, their personal experience. And not just say, hey, how long have you been doing this? Find out how many transactions they've done over the past few years, each year. Now, I'll tell you, somebody who hasn't done enough transactions, you know, somebody who's done two, three transactions each year, that's not enough to really understand the market. Somebody who's doing like 150 transactions themselves or 100, 150 transactions themselves, they might not have time to give you their attention. So it goes both directions. You wanna make sure that you have a person that has a type of experience that fits your needs. Um, so that's a really, really big piece. Beyond that, see what their take is. Do they educate you every step of the way? Do they just hand you contracts and ask them you to sign? Ask them questions. And, you know, in all the time I've been doing this, I've had one person ask me to speak to one of my past clients and talk to one of my past clients and see what they thought about me. And one? Only one. And frankly, I think that should happen with every single person. Mm -hmm. I, I think they should always be asking for that because we can tell you whatever we want to tell you. Right. But talking to past clients is is how you find out what it's really like. That's my advice. Nice. I love it. You, w let me ask a question. Yeah. What's up? Um, who goes through more pre-licensing education? <laughs> an esthetician or a realtor? You know, that's a great, great question. Um, so I'm going to give you a few different ones. Yes, please. Okay. I love this. Okay. I love this. So we have. And if you're playing along at home, uh, you, you can answer you the question in the chat. Is it, is it an esthetician or a realtor who has more pre-licensing education requirements? So esthetician, realtor, a manicurist. Okay. Hair design. Hair design. <laughs> Or a massage therapist, uh, an animal, animal massage, massage therapist. therapist. <laughs> Not a regular massage therapist, an animal <laughs> massage therapist. Okay. okay, anybody have any guess on who has the most? I can't play this the game. Most? I know, yeah, I know the uh, you can see the answers answer. in front of me. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna start with the highest, a hair design. So, Wait, ladies' the guy, hair. The guy that cuts my hair? No, well, the barber's a little bit less. A hair Bar design, oh, oh, gotcha. which, I'm assuming is more involved than just a barber is 1400 hours. Barbers actually 1400 hours. hours. That's over. A, uh, that's a half a year. That's over a half a year. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A manicurist. Okay. 600 hours of education. Nice nails. To today. Do these nails. Now I appreciate that education. I certainly do. Mm -hmm. An esthetician's a little bit more. It's actually 750 hours. Okay. 
An animal massage therapist. 300 hours of education. I, I, I haven't I didn't seen know that, that at the community college, like, animal massage. registration pamphlet that you get from, like, Bellevue College. I just like, read it quickly. Where's the animal massage? <laughs> I just read it quickly today. I believe it's 300 hours of actual class and then 300 hours of, of practice. Whoa. But I, I can't attest to that. Gotcha. Okay, but to be a realtor, a whopping 90 hours of class. Nine zero. I could miss. That's not even a month's time in the job. No, not even. So I could um, spend months learning how to massage your dog. <laughs> but <laughs> but, to but sell I me can a house? go sell you multi million dollar properties with 90 hours. Sweet. It's a little bit crazy. But wait, Darcy, there's more. How much does a lender need, Keith? Well, obviously, if. If you guys need 90 hours, a lender would obviously, to deal with all the financials and bank statements and all That's of that lot. stuff, we would need a whopping 40 hours of pre-licensing education. Can you believe that? A whopping that? 40 hours of, not even half your requirement. And it's so funny because when a realtor or a lender gets licensed, they're like, okay, I'm ready to sell. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. They have no idea what they're doing and they need somebody who's experienced to guide them through the process. So. Yeah. This is why you need to interview both your realtor and your lender to make sure you feel comfortable with their knowledge base. I'm not saying new people aren't good to go to because new people Correct. can be great to go to as long as they have a team yeah. that has that understanding behind them that can walk them through it. Yeah, what's their support structure? What's their ability to get out there and, and help you right. um, follow through on that dream of home ownership or, or investment properties or what have you? Um, so important, so important, so. Yes, that does not mean, let me just say this right now, it does not mean it's easy to be a lender or be a realtor. It just means it doesn't take a lot of education. Correct. Correct.